guys, this is Stephanie. I wanted to do a quick review, a mom review, of my brand new Graco Breeze stroller. It is a lightweight umbrella fold stroller. Um, Evan just began baseball a couple weeks ago and I was really looking for a lightweight stroller that would be good at the baseball field that could get through all the dirt. And I found it really hard to find good information about what I needed. So I decided to make my own video with the one that I purchased so other moms can take a look and see if it's something that they would like. Okay, so first off, right now, the wheels are locked. Push down on each wheel, and it becomes an easy, movable machine. This is really well outside. I bought this off Amazon, and I before I bought it, I asked on two different strollers, how does it do on dirt and grass? Because that's pretty much what it's gonna be on for baseball days. And a couple moms said, you know, for the park it does okay, but I really couldn't find the information I was looking for. So I'm going to tell you, it does amazing. There is no struggle, it does not dig into the field. It does really well with a 30 pound baby. Owen is almost 30 pounds at 18 months old, and I really don't notice, it goes so well. The next thing I love, when I was looking for a stroller, I don't want his feet to touch the wheels. Now this foot bar is pretty high up, but when it's going forward, he cannot put his feet on the wheels. He cannot put his feet behind here because of the mesh basket. The other thing I love is the movable footrest. My other Graco is part of my travel system and it had the same feature. It can be all the way down for a taller kid and their feet can sit here or hang down, depending on what they like. You can move it up one so you have a longer seat and their legs just kind of hang off and that's what he likes right now. Or you can have it up, which he learned he can just pull it and then stick his legs out the side. But this feature when it's all the way up is so you can hook on your car seat and make it its own travel system. Obviously I haven't had to use that feature since Owen is so big, but he likes to keep his feet out right now and his feet just barely hang off. Um, one of the features I'm not too excited about is the shallow seat. It's only about six inches from the back of the seat to where it begins the footrest. But when you put the seat up, it's a much deeper seat. Just by push, the seat comes right up. Another feature I really like is this canopy. I wish it had one more section to come down, but on the sides, you just lift up and it goes right back. So if it's windy, you can just pull it down, pull each one into place, and the wind cannot take your canopy away. I really like that. For the seat, I love typical Graco. The pieces just slide on, and you have either a three-point harness with just the waist, or a five-point harness, and baby is safe and secure. The next thing I really like, let's turn it around, is this basket. This was the number one thing I was looking for. Obviously at the field, we have bags, we have all kinds of stuff. This basket goes all the way to the front and it's pretty deep. It has mesh on all sides and it can fit my full baby backpack, no problem. The next thing is how the seat reclines. So if we lift this part up, right here, just gently pinch and the seat is now all the way flat. You can put in your newborn in here. If you're going to lay a newborn in here, they recommend you put the foot bar all the way up to help prevent your baby from just sliding out. That's very dangerous. Then, as I showed you, just by putting my hand together, push up. I believe there's at least six different seat positions. Right now, we're only using three all the way up, semi-reclined, or completely flat because he is silly and likes to lay down. This is your cup holder that comes with the stroller. On the back, it's a two-part bolting system, so it does not come off as you close it or in the car. As you can see, put it right on, push down, it's not going anywhere. The only thing I do not like about the cup holder, I wish it had one bar on this side for more stability. The top part does wiggle. Also in the car, the handle to carry the stroller is on the other side, and I often put that side up when I lay down, and it squishes the cup holder, and a couple times this has been a little deformed. Right now, it's pretty much the same shape, but I am a little worried that I might break the by laying it in the car. The next thing I wanna show you is the other side. 
This is the carry handle. It is in a great location. I have two older boys that do not need a, a stroller. And instead of holding on up here where I hold on, they can hold on here easily and they're not in the way. That's very helpful. The next thing I want to show you is the height of the stroller. I am five foot four inches. I'm not very tall. It comes up to my stomach and it's a great height. I can push from farther away, up close, it moves how I want it. The next thing I was so blown away by is the brake. Push down, unlock, lock, unlock. It's very easy and I'm very impressed with it. The other thing that I love that is kind of hard to see is the handles. So it goes straight one way and it's flat on the top. So it's actually very easy to push and control as other ones do not have that shape. Next, to close the stroller, I close the canopy. I just have it down instead of it being up. Right here, there's a button that says push and one that says pull. You do not need your feet. It is not any kind of crazy contraption. So from the side, I'm going to push the push Lift the pull, it's going to lock, and it's locked. I can carry it, and we're on our way. It is a little heavy. The front wheels have a lot of weight, so when you hold it, it tends to go down, but it's pretty easy to get in and out of your car. Oppositely, to unlock it, you're going to reach down, grab the buckle. I pull on the right side. The left and right are kind of different. So make sure it's unlocked, pull on the right side, lift it up. There is a black bar, and you're ready to go. So with the Graco Breeze, there's only four things that concern me a little bit, but they were not deal breakers. Obviously, I bought this. The first one being the depth of the seat. Remember when the foot bar is down, the seat depth is only the size of my small hand. That's not very deep for a baby's bottom. Number two would be the cup holder. When you close the stroller, if you lay it down on its side with the handle up, your cup holder does get squished and bent. The next one I have is the height of the seat back. Right now it's on the lowest setting and my 18 month old fits here perfectly, but the top of his head already sticks up slightly above the seat. That does worry me when he does get bigger, will his head even be supported? I'm afraid that when it's up here, She's going to be way too tall and we won't be able to use it. My only other concern, there is no snack tray. You cannot buy one for this model due to the way it closes. I'm going to look into getting some other brand, maybe even a parent tray, just so he can have somewhere to put a cup, put his snacks, and put a toy. There's not much room in the seat with him, so they cannot go by his side. I am usually carrying them, or if he takes up the storage I have in the stroller. Other than that, I truly love this stroller. I'm normally not a fan of black and tan. This, all of this is almost like a soft sand color with black. But I actually like it. I like the geometric pattern. It does have a large peekaboo window. Overall, we love this stroller. I am so glad I bought it. It is so much better than the one I was using for baseball. I think it'll last us many seasons to come.